Are you looking for a website that gives you how many Canadians there are in Canada that have the same demographic profile? Well, I have just the place for you. It is on Statistics Canada website, and it's, a, it's the data table option from the census. Let's explore it together in this short video. Now, when you go to StatsCan, it's on the free web. This is available for free to anyone. When you go to Statistics Canada and you click on English or French, it doesn't matter, go to the census website within Statistics Canada. Now, the census happens every five years, and it's a physical headcount of the entire population. And people who visit the, these Canadians, and I mean, you'll, you may have answered this or you will answer it shortly. Um, when you give, uh, you answer your census report uh, uh, questionnaire, uh, you have to say a lot of things about yourself, your age, uh, the age of the people in your house, and all these different questions, your income. And then uh, the government compiles all this information and provides it uh, through its website. So you just kind of use the census uh, portal to access all of these different data uh, uh, tools. Now, when you're on the census page, just go below here under data products. And these, these are my, I mean, of course, you could explore this. There are different types of things you can use on this website. But this is my preferred option because this, this is really the tools where you could tweak a very specific uh, uh, table yourself. Now, I have another video about the census profile, but which is basically giving you uh, um, you know, a snapshot of a very specific place in the country and who lives there. This is a different tool. This, if you're looking for uh, uh, Canadians that have the exact same demographic uh, profile, it will actually tell you how many people in the country have the same demographic profile. And hopefully you could usually subdivide it by place. Uh, so it's a slightly different option than the census profile because census profile is focusing on a single place. Whereas uh, the goal of this video, which is to talk about the data tables, is to is to really get give you a uh, an idea of the entire country, but people with a similar demographic. So that's the difference. Very simple place, which is the census profile, or same uh, demographic uh, profile, which is a data table. So let's go to the data table uh, option. And the first thing you have to figure out is what are the different variables that you have to pick from. So this is essentially giving you a list of the different variables provided for you in the census. And let's say I'm interested in income and uh, gender for whatever reason, uh, because my product is uh, targeting, you know, uh, you know, whatever kind of family. So here the idea is uh, you first choose whatever f uh, initial variable that is the usually what you use this for is the leading variable that determines that drives your key business factors. So let's say you know that affluent people consume your product, it's a luxury product, or this is uh, targeted for, for families. Well, then, uh, you know, you may want to use a different option, right? So in how you express uh, the demographic make makeup of your of your consumers or your shoppers, uh, you will ac actually get a sense of which option you should pick from the data tables. That's 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 the link between the theory and the real world, and it happens in the census. So let's say I'm looking for affluent. So that's the beginning part. So I'm going to go to the income option. And so what I have now is basically a list of all of the different aggregate tables that the statisticians, our friends at StatsCan, have decided to post on their website. And literally, they have you know, let me go back to the previous page. Let me just hit back for a second here. They have a list of all these different variables that they could pick from. And they say, oh, let's use, let's do a data aggregate table with this one, that one, and that one, right? And then you run the table and they post it on the internet. So basically, you have to pick which combinations of variables that are salient for, you know, to get your counts for your consumers and your demographic profile. So, you know, there are, for example, 48 options in the income uh, variable list. So all of these would talk about income in different ways. And whatever's listed here are the subdivisions or the, uh, the other variables that are included in the data set. So let's take, for example, this third one because it has age and uh, gender. Uh, and notice how sometimes we say gender, sometimes we say sex. I mean, you have to kind of understand that StatsCan has its own lingo. Uh, and so this is uh, an option. You could also use this other one. You know, it doesn't matter as long as the variables that you want are in the data set. Okay, so you could use any one of these. Maybe this one is slightly uh, less complicated because it doesn't have as many options. It's, it doesn't matter which one you use. Then you have to look at the reference number here. 
this geography will tell you what different subdivisions are available here. So this one is pretty detailed because it goes to the census agglomerations, which is essentially like a city. Uh, and the census metropolitan area is the greater area around the city. So this is just giving you a sense of how you could filter down to the data table. So let's pick this third one and um, use uh, click on the catalog number. Now this is the full definition. And actually, if you want the definitions of these different variables, uh, then you could click on this. And, and the number refers to a list of variables uh, from the StatScan documentation, right? So you could, you could take a look at that. Uh, once you're comfortable that this is the actual data set that you want, you could say view, download this product. And here is a table of the answer. So the default is always at the highest geographical area. But notice that you could click down on this and actually pick very specific uh, areas of the country. Yeah, this, this is pretty pretty intense. So let's say we choose Trois Rivières for whatever reason. That's you know you want to have you know a restaurant down there or whatever. You could do Trois Rivières and you hit submit and then you get this is the income distribution of people living in Trois Rivières total in the census in 2016. So this is amazing. Uh, you could also say, you know what? I don't want everybody. Let's just focus on, you know, 25 to 64. It's called the active population sometimes. Let's do active to, you know, 25 to 64. Let's hit submit. Uh, I only want households that have an earner, right? So I don't want, you know, I want people, a, a household with at least one, one person working. And I want to have people living alone. So I'm looking for the trifluvien, people in Three Rivers, in Trois Rivières, that are living alone and have a job, right? And actually, I could look for, you know, whatever gender I want. And so this is giving you counts for that specific combination of variables. Which is just to say that if you know that uh, these data tables exist on the Canadian census, there's no guesswork at providing metrics of your target population for any marketing project. There's an answer. There's an actual answer. There are 820 people in Trois Rivières making between 45K and 50K that have a job and live alone. I mean, there, it's not like a lot or no, it's like an actual number and it's based on the census. The point here is. Uh, there's no guesswork when you know about the census and figuring out what is your target market in the uh, Canadian population census. This is Olivier Charbonneau from Concordia University Library wishing you good luck with your projects.